In this demo, we're going to look at creating a React app using Vite and TypeScript. So let's dive straight in. In Visual Studio, type npm create Vite at latest. And it's going to allow us to enter a project name and choose the type of project that we want. In this case, React. And let us choose whether you want TypeScript or JavaScript. OK, that's done. Now let's open that folder in VS Code. Next, we need to run npm install and then npm run dev. Great, we have something working. Let's put that aside for a moment and take away some of the things from the code that we don't need. So let's open the source folder and let's remove display flex from the index.css file. Then in the app.tsx file, there's lots of things that we don't need. So all of this can go. And that can go. And that. Now let's start rebuilding. Let's open a new terminal and run npm install at pdftron slash webviewer. We'll find in the node modules that the web viewer is now present. We need to copy the core and UI folders and place them in a new folder called lib within the project. OK, now let's import web viewer. Then we're going to create a div that will contain the web viewer in our app component and we'll use a class name so that we can style it later. We're using use ref and we're also going to use the use effect hook. Let's define what viewer div is. It's a reference to an HTML div element. That's looking great. And we need to instantiate the web viewer. We're going to do that using a use effect hook, which takes a function and an array of dependencies. With an empty array of dependencies like this, the function will fire just once when the component mounts. And the function says that we want to create a web viewer with a path to the library files we've just copied in, and with an initial document, which can either be a locally available file or one available via a URL. If we want, we can also get a reference to the instance when the promise completes but we won't do that in this example. OK, that's looking good. Save this and go back to our project. Well, we've got a web viewer, but a very small document. Let's see if we can fix that using CSS. Let's add something for your web viewer class and give it a height of 100% of the viewport height. Great. We have the document. We can scroll it, zoom in, zoom out, and do all of the great things that WebViewer supports. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.